This video is part of a series. It's heavy in scientific terminology and may expect familiarity with previous videos. If you're confused, please watch the rest of the playlist up until this point, or check out my genetics terminology document, both of which are linked in the description. Thanks! This is the video where you get to learn about albino, and you get to learn about color point patterns, because they're on the same locus. That's right, color point cats are technically albinos. It's the C locus, where the C stands for color, though geneticists know it as tire, which codes for an enzyme important to pigment production known as tyrosinase. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. The allele for a normal full color cat without any albino is capital C, and it's completely dominant to all of C's other alleles. Let's go over those alleles. Even though all non-full color allelic variants of the C locus are technically albino, the specific phenotype that we call albino is a solid white cat with pink leathers. To avoid confusion, it's sometimes called complete albino. I did a research paper on cat eye colors back in college, and the funniest thing I came across was a bunch of breeders and geneticists getting unreasonably heated arguing about whether there's one type of complete albino or two. The theory goes that blue-eyed albinos and red-eyed albinos are distinct phenotypes, represented by little c and little ca, respectively. There is not much evidence for this other than looking at cats and deciding that their eyes look more blue or red. It's most likely just lighting or typical variation. So for our purposes, there's just one complete albino allele, little c. It makes a cat fully white with eyes that range from blue reflecting red to pinkish blue reflecting red. You may have heard that white cats with blue eyes are deaf, but that's not true here. These cats can hear fine. We'll talk about deaf cats in the leucism video. Little c is fully recessive to everything else on the c locus. However, it's also fully epistatic to every other color and pattern locus. No matter what genes a cat has, if they're homozygous little c little c, they're white. The other alleles are a little more complicated. There are two, and all of the phenotypes they produce are collectively called color points. They're both fully recessive to capital C and fully dominant to little c. However, they're incomplete dominant with each other. This is CS and CB. CS is responsible for the famous Siamese pattern. CB is responsible for the lesser known sepia, also known as Burmese, because Burmese is the breed most heavily associated with it. Siamese is also called Siamese for that reason, but it doesn't have an alternative name, it's just Siamese. I'm used to calling the Burmese pattern Burmese, but I'm going to call it sepia in this video series to emphasize that I'm talking about the quote-unquote color, aka the pattern, and not a breed. We use the word color to refer to pattern in cats too, it's confusing. Anyway, both of them work the same way. Tyrosinase is a temperature-sensitive enzyme. I'll spare you the detailed chemistry, but in short, temperature strongly affects how light or dark the cat's fur will be. This can be affected by external temperatures, but is mostly affected by the internal temperature of the cat, which is part of why it's consistent. A Siamese cat doesn't just turn dark when you put them in a cold room, although growing up in a cold room can make them turn out darker. If you shave a point cat, the fur grows back full color at first and then sheds back to normal. I don't know why this happens, I've just seen it before. Temperature sensitivity is also why color point cats have dark faces, ears, paws, slash legs, and tails. Those are the coldest parts of the cat. The bulk of the body, where all the organs are, is the hottest. Siamese produces a lighter cat because it codes for more tyrosinase, so it's more temperature sensitive, and heat turns the pigment off easier. Sepia produces a darker cat because there's less tyrosinase, so it's less temperature sensitive, and heat has a harder time turning off pigment. Siamese cats always have blue eyes. Always. Sepia cats can have any non-blue eye color. The most common is this beautiful, rich orange, but that's most likely because of selective breeding in the Burmese breed, and not because of the CB allele. If a cat is heterozygous CSCB, they're called mink or Tonkinese. Just like Burmese, I'm used to saying Tonkinese, but Tonkinese is also a breed, so I'm going to say mink in these videos for clarity. Mink cats are exactly what you'd expect. They're right in between Siamese and sepia. They have a middling temperature sensitivity, and they have a middling eye color, green. Blue eyes are the result of lack of pigment in the eye. Brown, amber, and yellow eyes happen when there's a lot of pigment in the eye. When there's only a little pigment, well, what do you get when you mix blue and yellow? It's green! If you see a mink or a sepia with blue eyes, that's probably because they have a non-albino, leukistic white somewhere on the body, but that's a future video. Color point is not epistatic. It does not eliminate any other color or pattern. You can think of it like a blanket that goes on top of any other color. There's black color point, known as seal, there's red color point, known as flame, there's chocolate, dilute tortoiseshell, cinnamon smoke, the list goes on. Any color of cat that isn't fully white can have color point thrown on top. I saw the most gorgeous black golden tabby Siamese point once and I thought I was gonna die. 
Oh, speaking of tabbies, the fancy word for color point with stripes is a lynx. So if you want to sound fancy, a brown tabby point is a seal lynx point. But you can just say brown tabby point, people will still know what you mean. Quick summary to go over all the inheritance again in just one easy place. Capital C is full color, no albino. This is complete dominant to everything. CS is Siamese. It's the most temperature sensitive color point. CB is sepia, also known as Burmese, the least temperature sensitive color point. CS and CB are incomplete dominant with each other. So heterozygous individuals will be mink, also known as Tonkinese. And lastly, little c is complete albino. A fully white cat with blue or pinkish eyes that reflect red instead of the usual green or yellow. Little c is completely recessive to everything. Here's a practice Punnett square. I'm not going to tell you the parents' phenotypes this time. Figure them out alongside the kitten phenotypes. The parents are one full color and one Siamese. For Warriors fans, these are actually my headcanon genotypes for Tigerstar and Sasha. Tigerstar is the full color and Sasha is the Siamese. They have a 50% chance of a full color kitten, Tadpole, and a 50% chance of a mink kitten, both Mothwing and Hawkfrost. One type of white done, the next one's coming up. I'll see you there.